Naloxone is used to reverse respiratory failure. Yes, it is not used to make people happy or more conscious or anything else. We know sometimes if we're administering this, we have a, a four milligram nasal spray, a fairly healthy dose, that this may wake the person up. They may or may not be happy about that. But if we get them to a point that we titrate it and we get their breathing back and they're not awake, we stop giving naloxone. That's the way it would be in a patient. And that's the way it will be on the National Registry. You have a patient who they was reported pinpoint pupils and they found a needle hanging out of his arm and he was breathing four times a minute and somebody administered naloxone at the house. And when that happened, the respiratory rate went up to 12, their color improved, their pulse isn't tachycardic, their saturation's okay. We're not gonna give more naloxone even if they're unresponsive. We're gonna watch them, make sure they stay breathing well. But naloxone is used to treat respiratory failure. We don't follow what we see on TV. You know, we do the right thing, and that's what naloxone is used for. Going into the ALS tip, continuing with naloxone, that if we have someone that we believe is an opioid overdose and coded, compressions and ventilations are the things that are going to overcome that opioid part of that code. The American Heart Association and all kinds of sources you're going to see are going to say naloxone isn't the thing that that's not what we do. We run a code. We don't give the naloxone. Remember that if you don't have naloxone, you can ventilate the patient and that patient will continue to go on and in some cases get better. As you work the code and get ROSC and do it, if there's failure, yeah, sure. But naloxone, people reach for that in the code and that's not the way it works uh, for the AHA.